This is the Asus RT AC 1900P. It's a it's a 802.11 AC router. It's an AC 1900 standard, and basically we're going to plug it in and set it up and get it online, so you can see how easy it's done. So let's go ahead and plug it in. I always start with the modem. Uh, so I have this red Cat5 cable going all the way to my modem in a different room. Uh, the other one's plugged into my modem. This one's going to be plugged into this blue port right here. The internet port. And then, first I want to make sure it's off. Meaning it's sticking out further. And then I'm going to go to the power source and plug that in right here. And then the router comes with this black Cat5 right here. So I'm going to plug that. It doesn't matter which one of these ports you go into. I always just use port number one because, I don't know, OCD or something. I, I don't know. It's just, it makes sense. You start in port one. And then the other one goes into the computer, which I'm going to do right here. All right, now that that's done, it's all plugged in. So physically, we're pretty much done. Everything's plugged in. Uh, yet I had to put the antennas on, but I mean, that's all that you really have to do. The rest is all done like on the computer or whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on by pressing this button right here, right next to where I plugged the power in. And it'll start booting up. So let's just go ahead and I'm just going to look at the physical features of it while it boots up. I love this pattern on here. It's like you can feel it. It's like a it's like a texture. It's really nice. I really really like it. And uh, the LED the lights on here are pretty nice too. They're all blue. Uh, I believe they're all blue. But uh. The back of this thing is nice too. You can even turn the LEDs on and off from back here. You've got a USB 2.0, a USB 3.0. You got the LED on and off switch and you got four LAN ports. Of course you got your internet port. The reset button right there, you reset, you hold that in for a, a few seconds to reset everything to factory settings. And of course the power button. I um, just wanna show you the LED button so you see they're on and if I press it it doesn't always work great for me it was working earlier maybe I have to wait for the maybe I have to wait for all the settings to be ready or something I don't know it doesn't really work too good for me it was working earlier but anyways Let's get into actually configuring the router. So it's all plugged in. So now we need just to just go to the computer now that it's on. And I'm actually going to go into um, a screen recording mode. So I'm not just holding the camera here at the computer. So let's go to that. All right. So once we're on the computer, you want to open up your browser. I'm just going to use Edge. And it... It automatically opens up the administrator in, administrative interface as long as everything is plugged in correctly and it's at default settings. So if you just took it out of the box, it should be good. If you didn't just take it out of the box and you bought it from someone else or if it's not a brand new router, you might want to restore it to factory settings and then do this again. So um, you come to the, if it doesn't come to this page automatically, also you can just open up the router and go to this right here, router.asus.com, and it'll automatically put all this in. So it's asking me for a router name. So this is a login name for the administrator. I'm just going to leave it at admin. I'm going to make my password admin123, admin123. I suggest you use something better than that, but this is not a router that um, I'm using in production. I'm just using it for this video. Uh, 
So that's my password that I set. This isn't anything, it's just a picture. So we'll go to next. Does your internet connection require username and password? Typically the answer is gonna be no. If if you if yours requires a username and password, you're gonna know it because your ISP gave it to you. But for most of the time, like for my internet connection and most people, you're gonna select no. If Again, unless you know what that information is. Next. And again, most of us are gonna use DHCP. If not, you know if you have a static IP because usually it's something you have to request specially or you might have some kind of different ISP. But for the most part, DHCP is what we're gonna use. Next. All right, so it's telling me to turn off the cable modem and plug it back in. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I don't really need to. Uh, you can do it if you want, but it always seems to work for me if I don't do it. So we're not gonna do it. Next. Turn off the cable DSL modem. Wait for about two minutes to replug the modem's power cord into a power outlet. Then I'm not gonna do it. It works without doing it for me, so maybe it'll be the same for you. Detecting the internet connection type timed out. Do you want to try again? I'm going to go to cancel because I know I knew it was not going to work. So I'm just going to go to select internet type uh actually, actually that was the wrong one um automatic ip dhcp that just took me right back that was actually the wrong one so it's going to take me through this again next again i'm basically just doing the same thing over because i selected the wrong option And it's going to give me an error again, but we're going to fix this. We don't want to try again. So cancel. If yours works, if you're installing internet, if you're installing this router on your home internet for the first time and you've not, like if you've moved into a new house or a new apartment or something, yours might be fine. You might not get this. This, this, I'm getting this problem because I have another router that I actually used at my house. And my ISP thinks I'm still using that router. So basically, I just have to trick the ISP that I'm to trick it into thinking I'm using my old router still. So I I know I know this is a I know what this problem is. So we're gonna go to cancel. Unable to connect the internet. Okay, wireless setting. So this is for your two wireless networks. You have a 2.4 gigahertz network and a 5 gigahertz network. Um, this is just the name of them. Um, I would name them in a way that you know which one is 2.4 gigahertz and which one is 5 gigahertz. For example, the default is just ASUS for the 2.4 and ASUS underscore 5G for the 5. So if you want to name it whatever, like if I wanted to name it Eric for that one and then Eric underscore for you, see so automatically just put that in there. I would... I would recommend leaving that in there just so you know which one is which. Because if you name both the same thing, then you might not be able to tell which one is which. So, password. Uh, I'm just going to do password123. I don't recommend you use that. Uh, I recommend you use something better. But again, I'm just using this for the video. Apply. So here's a summary of the information that we have put in. Complete. So now I'm gonna have an internet issue, as I mentioned before. Your ISP's DHCP does not function properly. This is because I have to do some MAC address spoofing. So if I can remember how to do this, I believe you go to WAN, you go all the way down, and then you have to type in what I did was I went to WAN over here, and then I just scroll all the way down till I see MAC address right here. So in this box, 
what I want to do is type in the MAC address from my old routers, from the MAC address from my old router. Now I'm gonna go and exit from the screen real quick and show you. So on my router here, when I look at the back, usually there's a sticker back here or something. See, this one has a sticker that says, right there, it says MAC on the bottom, right there. It's 2C, FDA, blah, 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 blah. You don't want that one. This is the one for the current router. You want to use the one for your old router. Typically, it's on the back of your router, just like that. And if not, sometimes if you have the box, sometimes it's on the box, like for this one, it has it on the box right there. It says Mac right there at the bottom. And let's go back to the screen. So whatever that Mac address is that you got, you want to put it in this box. For me, it's going to be 001D7E. 0DE44D. And don't hit that button because if you hit that button, it's going to erase everything that you put in there and copy your computer's MAC address. And that is not what you want. So don't hit that button. <laughs> and then once you're done with that, you go to apply. Now, if you go to, what was it, network map, internet status is connected. And now I can go to google.com. And now I'm on the internet. So let's just go through the settings real quick. We're online, that's basically all you really need. So there's this isn't really a video about all the other settings, but let's just go through here real quick. Um, guest network, um, you can change your guest network settings here. This is just kind of, just to get give you a feel of what the interface is like and what settings are aware. AI protection, uses real-time network monitoring to detect malware, viruses, and other intrusions, blah, 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 blah. You can set these up here. I never really used parenting, parental controls. Um, you got your QoS settings right here. Traffic analyzer. So this is just like an example of what you can see the screen. You can just close this and there's all kinds of information you can see on here. Traffic monitor, USB application, a few applications on here you can look into the cloud 2.0 which I'm I think maybe an update keeps you connected to your data wherever and whenever you have an internet connection okay so it's it's the it's the app which I'll show you in a separate video advanced settings your wireless settings um, so you this is your 2.4 gigahertz network and your SID your I call it SID I know it's SSID if you're watching my videos, you're going to hear me say SID. You're just going to have to live with it. That's how I refer to it. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of settings in here. If you want to look at your 5 gigahertz settings, you just click this and go to 5 gigahertz. Yeah, Duran settings. Your WAN settings, which is where we configured the MAC address. There's also a bunch of other, you can do NAT and DMZ and DNS and a bunch of port forwarding stuff. That's where all that stuff is. Um, IPv6. I don't really know much about IPv6, but maybe someday we'll look into that. You got your VPN settings. Not every router does VPNs, so this is uh, kind of a... Um, a more advanced feature that you get on more expensive routers. Firewall, basic firewall stuff in here. Administration. You can put your router into different modes. So if you just want, like right now it's a wireless router, you can just make it a repeater or an access point. 
Um, media, I'm actually not familiar with what media does. Can be configured to media bridge mode. Media bridge mode provides the fastest connection for multiple media devices simultaneously. System log. So everything that's going on. Network tools. So you can use this to troubleshoot if you're having issues on your network. You can use this. You got ping, trace route, and NS lookup. Very basic things that you also have on your computer. So that's basically how you set up the router and just the basic, like what's on it and what the interface is like. So the whole goal was of this video was to show you how to set it up and become somewhat familiar with the interface. Um, it's not necessarily a review or anything. It's just, this is how you do it. So I appreciate you walking, watching. Thanks.